looking at it, so it wasn't tackled very well, but at least it was intact and in one piece. My RBM Model M keyboard arrived. That's a keyboard. It's a heavy keyboard too, it's a real thing. That is very well made. Date, 7th of 10th 1996, made in the UK. Huh, this is a, a Scottish made one. Huh, a Scottish version, not the American version. So a very well made one. Very heavy duty actually. It's a Scottish version of the uh, Model M keyboard. I never knew they made um, the, the Model M keyboards in uh, Scotland. I thought they only made these in America, but apparently not. They're in too bad condition. That's a bit dirty, but I can clean that. Removable keycaps. Probably pull all those keycaps off and stick them in a little um, strainer in a compartment in the dishwasher and wash them in a the dishwasher if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to do that because I don't know, I remember very well where all the keys go. Let's take a good photo. Get this a good clean this and go on my other computer. Yeah, it's a 96, as I said, not the earlier Cali cord one. Boy, that feels good. It's got the more sound more metallically too than the, um, the Unicomp one. But the exact same principle. For exactly the same as the real thing, for the, um, the Unicomp one, I mean. PS2. I've got to clean it all down this and go on my other computer. That is a nice keyboard. Anyway, that's for the PC that I got with this monitor and all that. I run 32 bit on it. I did some research. When I activated the 32 bit on that system, apparently you can use the same serial key for 32 bit to activate the 64 bit as well. The serial or the serial key works um, both of um, 32 and 64 bit. So I'm going to um, get another drive for it, the, the one terabyte drive that's in it. Install Windows from scratch on that. The 64 bit and activate it with a 32 bit key because apparently um, that key will activate both 32 or 60 bit, 64 bit versions as long as they're the same edition, in this case, Home Premium. So I'm going to do that. I tried the, uh, the Asus, an old Asus TV card which I had in the, um, put it in the XP, my old vintage UCXP machine, and it works in there but it doesn't work in um, Windows 7. It's a 2007 year uh, hybrid TV tuner, PCI card. So yeah, it does not want to work with Windows 7. It does, but it gets a picture and it freezes up intermittently and there's no sound. But when I put it on XP, it runs good. So it looks like that TV tuner is only good for the XP. So that'll stay in the old vintage -ish XP machine. And also the card radio on the front doesn't work. And apparently 32-bit has a bit of a restriction on it. So I'm going to try 64-bit to see if it fixes that um, issue on this um, new machine that I just got. Ah oh yes, the old Windows key is not included on this one. No Windows key and the uh, question mark with uh, forward slash key caps missing. So I'm going to have to track down um, anyone who's got a Model M key cap to replace that. I'd love to know because I really want this thing 100% complete. I need that key cap. I can still use it but it's not the same without it. Anyway. Yeah. Let's um, get 64-bit home premium on this thing and this thing will be pretty much a really good machine then because the yeah, 32-bit is way too damn restrictive. Well, I had a look around, around where I opened the package. I had a look inside that box that it came in, all the packaging. No, that key's not there. So, I need that key. So anyone out there has got a spare key for Model M, I want to replace one for this one. But other than that, it's in pretty damn good nick. That'll have to wash off again with a good brush on at the tap. Good thing about pulling these off, I can just wash them and give them a good scrub. No, it's not the same. I need the proper key that goes there. That's not it on. I got this installing under the uh, spare hard drive, as I said. If, it, that, um, if it, that is right, it can activate on the same 32-bit key on 64-bit, then I'm going to uh, go straight over to the other hard drive, SSD, I mean. 
And then somehow um, get all the drivers of this motherboard off the um, DVD I burnt off the original recovery disc. Get all the uh, motherboard stuff installed. Because it will write, it will um, actually write better on 64 bit. Yeah. 32 bit's just way too restrictive for my needs. I, don't like, I never liked it. I don't know what this thing was doing, but I specifically said in the setup for this to install onto the one terabyte Western Digital. I selected that to be the destination drive for this to install on. And what's it do? It bloody installs it on the main Kingston SSD. Now we've got two Windows 7s on the Kingston SSD. So it's going to ask me which setup, which operating system do I want to run every time I boot this thing up. Should have um, disconnected the SSD altogether. Had it the case, that would have been a better way to do it. And it would have had no choice but to install it on that one other hard drive. Oh well. Anyway, let's see if this uh, product key activates on 64 bit. This is a spare 32 bit product key I've got here. And this was an upgrade Windows 7 on my other um, uh, computer when I first got my other original one. Give this some time to set up and we'll uh, give, it a try. give it a try. I just found this out last night, look I used the same 32 bit key in the 64 bit system, there you go, just activated, beautiful, oh well, no, it's going to install all the drivers on this thing, ah, oh. beautiful, I've got 64 bit to work, huh. there you go, I didn't really, I didn't know that you could use a 32 bit key to, um, to, uh, um, activate a 64-bit operating system with a 32-bit key. Turns out the key doesn't matter what 64 or 30-bit, 32-bit is irrelevant when it comes to Windows product keys. I didn't know that. Good thing that was a spare key. <laughs> anyway, I'll um, get this uh, SSD all wiped, wipe the SSD and download Macio and Reflect and ghost what's on here now onto the SSD. That way I can still keep the good speed on this thing, maintain it. Then I'm going to dig through all this and find all the drivers for the motherboard. And then again, well, all the drivers that work on um, the machine so far, because I know the drivers in here are probably going to be 32-bit um, only, so it's going to take some um, experimentation, but they don't know what they are. I can just uh, get the 64-bit equivalent for this board. Anyway. That'll be enough for now, thanks for watching. Let us see if this card reader works. Apparently, yeah, it should work now 64 bit, but if it doesn't, worst case scenario, the probably board in there is probably dead, which I hope not. Anyway, thanks for watching.